حي على الفلاح حي على Iddun, it's marfu, if I say dun, it's mansu, if I say din, it's majru, if I say dun, it's marfu, if I say dun, it's mansu, if I say din, it's majru. So, dun 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 din din, 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 dun 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 din din. One more time. If I say dun. It's marfu. If I say dun, it's mansu. If I say din, it's majru. So dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din, dun 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 din din. I hope you will remember it. Iyahuma hunna, huwa huma hum. Iyahuma hunna, anta yantum ma yantum. Anta yantum ma yantum. Anti yantum ma yantum na. Anti antum ayantunna ana nahnu ana nahnu huwa huma hum iya huma hunna huwa huma hum 
Hiya humma hunna. One more time. Hua humma hum. Hiya humma hunna. Hua humma hum. Hiya humma hunna. Anta yantum ma yantum. Anta yantum ma yantum. Anti yantum ma yantum na. Anti yantum ma yantum na. Ana nahnu. Ana nahnu. Hua humma hum. Hiya humma hum na. Hua humma hum. Hiya humma hum na. A pronoun joins a noun. We get mudaf, mudaf ilahi. What did I say? When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf. Mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, what do we get? We get zarf and mudafilehi. Did you get it? Yes. Inshallah. One more time. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilahi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, we get zarf. And mudafilehi. Inshallah, you'll remember. Baituhuma, baituhum. What did I say? Baituhu, baituhuma, baituhum. Baituha, baituhuma, baituhunna. Baituka, baitukuma, baitukum. Baituki, baitukuma, baitukunna. Baiti, baituna. Now you can do with anything you want. Okay, brother and sister. Kalamuhu, kalamuhuma, kalamuhum. Kalamuha, kalamuhuma, kalamuhunna. Kalamuka, kalamukuma, kalamukum. Kalamuki, kalamukuma, kalamukunna. Kalami, kalamuna. Rabbuhu, rabbuhuma, rabbuhum. What did I say? Rabbuhu, rabbuhuma, rabbuhum. Rabbuha, rabbuhuma, rabbuhunna. Rabbuka, rabbukuma, rabbukum. Rabbuki, rabbukuma, rabbukunna. Rabbi, rabbuna. Alhamdulillah. Minhuma, minhum. Minha, minhuma, minhunna. Minka, minkuma, minkum. Minki, minkuma, Min kunna, min ni, min na. Ilayhi, ilayhima, ilayhim. Ilayha, ilayhima, ilayhinna. Ilayka, ilaykuma, ilaykum. Ilayki, ilaykuma, ilaykunna. Ilayya. Ilayna Alayhi Alayhima Alayhim Alayha Alayhima Alayhinna Alayka Alaykuma Alaykum Alayki Alaykuma Alaykunna
Then, brothers and sisters, Alayya Alayna And we should not forget, brother, Li Harfchar. And then we put Damir, who? In the of Li who, we say, Lahu. Ready? Lahu, Lahuma, Lahum. Laha, Lahuma, Lahunna. Laka, Lakuma, Lakum. Laki, Lakuma, Lakunna. Li, Lana. Now, brothers and sisters, last time, Zarf. Huh? When the pronoun joins the Zarf, what do we get? Zarf and Mudafilay. Remember, Zarf and Mudafilay. Ready? <coughs> in the who, in the huma, in the hum. In the ha, in the huma, in the hunna. In the ka, in the kuma, in the kum. In the ki, in the kuma, in the kunna. In the in the na. Ma'ahu, ma'ahuma, ma'ahum. Ma'aha, ma'ahuma, ma'ahunna. Ma'aka, ma'akuma, ma'akum. Maki, makuma, makuna. Mai, mana. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, this will keep the concept alive in your mind, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'een. أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله من الله سبحانه وتعالى increase in all of us knowledge السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته nice to see you all brothers and sister أرجر Shout with me. Huh? You have to say loudly. When you hear, immediately speak loudly. Harf jar, Simmajru. Inshallah. Very good. Fine, brother and sister. We do our drill. Okay? We'll do our drill. Ready? Okay? Hua, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahnu. Hua huma hum, hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu. One more time. Hua huma hum, hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu. MashaAllah. Because we have two new sisters, we got to show them everything. So, we will show them one more thing. What is that, Brother Muhammad? Hua huma hum, iya huma hunna. Hua huma hum, iya huma hunna. Anta yantum ma yantum. Anta antum ma yantum. Anti yantum ma yantunna. Anti antum antunna ana nahnu ana nahnu huwa huma hum iya huma hunna huwa huma hum iya huma hunna inshallah you will memorize and you will sing at home huh? inshallah okay brothers and sisters next one was our exercise in uh, Conjugation of the verb. Huh? Ready, brothers and sisters? Start with the first one because it will come in the lesson very quickly. Zahaba, zahaba, zahabu, zahabat, zahabata, zahabna, zahabta, zahabtuma, zahabtum, zahabti, 
زهبتما زهبتنا زهبت زهبنا ما شاء الله هو هي ذهبت Are you with me? أنا زهبت أنت أنت أنتم نحن قد أيدي أبدا ما شاء الله أن هم ذهبوا إن شاء الله And then بدأ خرج Ready? خرج خرج خرجوا خرجت خرجتا خرجنا خرجتا خرجتما خرجتم خرجتي خرجتما خرجتنا خرجتو خرجنا أنا خرجتو أنت خرجتا أنتي خرجتي هو خرج هي خرجت هم خرجو نحن خرجنا see slowly slowly it will sink and inshallah you will feel good about it you will say inshallah with confidence inshallah and all these things will come in the Quran all of them will come in the Quran and you will be able to recognize them inshallah ready now I write new verbs dakhala he entered in the dictionary you will see to enter but actually it is he entered everything is he did something that is the root of the verb in Arabic language what is the root it is past tense it is singular and it is masculine and it is third person that is fixed you know I didn't do it that's the way the language was created okay ready dakhala dakhala dakhalu dakhalat دخلتا دخلنا دخلتا دخلتما دخلتم دخلتي دخلتما دخلتنا دخلتو دخلنا هو دخل هي دخلت هم دخلوا أنا دخلت أنت دخلت أنت دخلت نحن دخلنا أنتم دخلتم هم دخلوا هي دخلت هو دخل قد أيدي إن شاء الله ها أوكي ناو درس هي استديد ها هي استديد أور تو استدي ريدي فيري إمبورتنت ورب درس درس درسوا درست درستا درسنا درستا درستما درستم درستي درستما درستنا درستو درسنا I studied درستو We studied درسنا You studied درستا You studied درستي هو درسا He studied She studied هي درست هو درسا هي درست أنا درست نحن درسنا أنت درست أنت درست got the idea it should come to you quickly إن شاء الله أخذ very important verb to take to take all these verbs are from your sheet handout keep your handout handy in front of you and these are the verbs we should do all of them by the time we finish book one end of the month we should finish book one and we should December we should go in book two inshallah inshallah and book two is more exciting and book three is even more exciting ready brother akhaza ready akhaza akhaza akhazu akhazat akhazata akhazna akhasta akhastuma akhastum akhasti أخذتما أخذتنا أخذت أخذنا ready هو هي أخذت أنا أنت أخذت أنت أخذت نحن أخذنا هم أخذوا هن أخذنا هن أخذنا هم أخذوا هو 
Akhaza Hiya Akhazat Ana Akhastu Anta Akhasta Ana Akhastu Nahnu Akhazna Inshallah Another word Qara'a Most important word You know In Arabic language There are three kinds of word Okay one is Madi Which we are learning now And then is Mudarya Present tense And future tense are together Okay with slight variation, inshallah. And the other important verb, which is not in English, but it is in Arabic language, is imperative. The verb of command. Huh? Or you can say request. Huh? And it is different from the, the, the root. Okay? It undergoes a change. Not in uh, English, you know. Okay. He sat, huh? or he sits. Let us take it into present. He sits. They sit. She sits. They, ladies, sit. You sit. All of you sit. Mourners sit. I sit. We sit. Sit, 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 sit. No change. But not in Arabic. Arabic is very precise. And if I say to somebody, sit, how will you say, I say? Then in, in English, sit. 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 <laughs> That's all. It's a, it's a change of tone. If it is a strict tone, you'll say, sit. Or you'll say, please sit. But it is sit, not in Arabic. And in Arabic, it is different. If I say sit, I have to use a different, from jalasa, it will change. Same way whether Kara, he read. Huh? He read. Ikra, see the complete change. The first, first word revealed in the Quran is Amar. Ikra, read. Huh? So it's a different thing. It is so fascinating. It is so beautiful, brothers and sisters. You know, it will amaze you, brother. Honestly, 1400 years ago, the Quran was revealed in the most beautiful and eloquent way. And if we don't know the language of the Quran, brother, we miss out. We miss out the most beautiful thing in the world. You know. So inshallah, we'll get to our goal, inshallah. So brother, Kara, uh, he read. Uh, she read. Karaat. I read. Karatu. Now I'm not conjugating, I'm just telling you. Huh? We read Karana. You read Karata. 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 Because, see, remember, Mutaharik pronouns huh? will get Lam Kalima Sukun. So Karata. Karatu. Karana. Karati. Because the Sukun comes. Huh? Okay, now we conjugate. Okay, ready? Kara. Kara a, kara u, kara at, kara ata, kara ana. Now sukun came. Huh? Kara ana, kara ata, kara tuma, kara tum, kara ti, kara tuma, kara tunna, kara tu, kara na. Kara tu al Quran al Karim hada sabah. I read Quran. This morning. See, inshallah, you will, you will. I'm not going in detail because some of these verbs will require object. And that is coming in book two. The course is being taught to you by Abdul Rahim, Dr. Abdul Rahim. I'm only explaining you his books. I'm not teaching you the course. The tutor of the course is Dr. Abdul Rahim. I'm only showing you these things. And his method is most beautiful which will produce result. But it will be step by step, step by step. So book two has the explanation of maf'ulun bihi, object. By that time, I want you to become strong in madi. If you become strong in madi, then you have a base on which we can build another wall, another room, inshallah. So you got the idea of kara. Now we come to our mudaf mudafilehi. Huh? 
Okay, brothers and sisters, let me write down here a couple of things. First, I want to write down how to chair, huh? Min fi ila huh? and ala and then b and then an oh, and then fi and finally li huh? okay and then i write down here in the and then i write down here ma okay brother and sister oh i wrote down fi that was i was wondering you know okay these are the popular herb jars, brothers and sisters. And now, Kitabu Muhammadin. Are you with me? Kitabu Muhammadin will become, if I have to say his book, Kitabu Who. And later on, uh, I will write down Min Kita Bihi. Ready, brothers and sisters? Hmm? So, Kitabu Muhammadin, Mudaf, Mudafili. Book of Muhammad. Now, we change into kitabuhu by adding to the kitab a pronoun. Huh? And we know 14 pronouns, okay? So what is kitabuhu? Kitabu is mudaf, and who is mudaf ilihi? And mudaf ilihi is always majroor. So here, who is majroor? We have no kasra. Are you with me? But we know it is majroor because it is mabni. And all mudaf ilahi are majroor. Huh? All mudaf. Remember one thing, brothers and sisters. Hmm? All nouns, either they are dun, or they are dun, or they are din. Huh? Okay? We have to know why they are dun, and why they are dun, and why they are din. Huh? If it is muptada, it is dun. It is always marfu. If it is khabar and one word only, then it is dun. It is marfu. If it is fa'il, it is dun. Marfu. We will be inshallah exploring all these things. And I will be saying these things again and again so that it will refresh your mind inshallah. Ready brothers and sisters? So kitabu hu, who is majroor now? Okay. This is the majroor form of the pronoun, right? when it is attached to the noun. Okay, ready? We'll do quickly. Kitabuhu, Kitabuhuma, Kitabuhum, Kitabuha, Kitabuhuma, Kitabuhunna, Kitabuka, Kitabukuma, Kitabukum, Kitabuki, Kitabukuma, Kitabukunna, Kitabi, Kitabuna, Kitabi, Kitabuna. Got the idea? MashaAllah. Let's do one more, brother. Kalamu. Kalamuhu, Kalamuhuma, Kalamuhum, Kalamuha, Kalamuhuma, Kalamuhunna, Kalamuka, Kalamukuma, Kalamukum, Kalamuki, Kalamukuma, Kalamukunna, Kalami, Kalamuna. MashaAllah. Now when Harfjar comes in front of it, brothers and sisters, uh, it will make this into majroor. But now, this was one compound. When the harfchar came, we got two compounds now. One compound with jar majroor. Uh, this is our one compound. Are you with me? What is that compound? Harfjar, isam majroor. Harfjar, harfjar will make the noun majroor. It will make it into din. From dun, dan, it will become din. Okay? And then we have another compound, and which is mudaf and mudafili. So, kitabi, 
plays a dual role. First, it is Isam Majroor. Then, it is Mudaf. Huh? And we say, Isam Majroor wa huwa Mudaf. Huh? Okay, inshallah. Let us do this, brother. Min kitabihi, min kitabihima, min kitabihim, min kitabiha, min kitabihima, min kitabi hinna, hinna, min kitabi ka, min kitabi kuma, min kitabi kum, min kitabi ki, min kitabi kuma, min kitabi kunna, min kitabi, mashallah, min kitabi na, kitabi na, mashallah, mashallah. Okay, brother. Now we come to min. Put pronoun into min. What will become brothers and sisters? Minhu. Huh? So what is minhu? There are two words. How many words? There are two words, brother. What are they? Jarun va majroon. Are you with me? Jarun va majroon. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now, let's do quickly. Huh? Minhu. Minhuma. Minhum. Minha, minhuma, minhunna, minka, minkuma, minkum, minki, minkuma, minkunna, minni, minna. Brother, you got to speak fast. Huh? We have a brother in other class, Brother Abdullah. He speaks so fast that all the sisters say, slow down, slow down. You know, we can't understand. He said, I have the same problem at home. My wife doesn't understand me. Because he speaks very fast. <laughs> okay. So, we got that. Huh? Minni, minna. Next one, fi. Now, brother, fi has got a ya with sukun. So, when I put fi plus hu, hmm, fi, remember, plus hu, it becomes fi he. Huh? And not fi hu. No. Fi he, okay? No grammar here, just the sweetness of the sound. It, when you hear it, you like it, you know. Ready, brother and sister? Fi he, fi hima, fi him, fi ha, fi hima, fi hinna, fi ka, fi kuma, fi kum, fi ki, fi kuma, fi kunna, fi ya. Fi na, fi ya, because two ya came with sukun, we have to give it a fata. Ready? Next one, now you can under, see that. Ela will become elehi. Huh? You know, ya has got sukun there. Maybe I should write down. Huh? It is ela huh? and plus hu. Now, when you give, uh, when you add damir to ela, ela opens up. What happens? It opened. This was originally Ya, uh, and we, was, we were pronouncing it A, Ila, Alif. No dots here, huh? remember. But once you put a Damir into it, it opened up. And it showed its original Ya. Okay? Now what shall I do? Ilayhu, Ilayhi. Uh, again, Ilayhi. Ready, brothers and sisters? Okay, quick, inshallah. Ilayhi, ilayhima, ilayhim, ilayha, ilayhima, ilayhinna, ilayka, ilaykuma, ilaykum, ilayki, ilaykuma, ilaykunna, ilayya. Remember, ilayya. Okay, ila. Okay, brothers and sisters. Uh, like this, ila, which is ilay. Because I want to add a pronoun, so the ya is visible now. Huh? Okay, so it became from ila, it became ilahi. Huh? Now I have to put ya mutakallim, which also has a sukun. Hmm? It has a sukun. So how do I? I cannot drop anything. And in Arabic language, two sukuns cannot come together. No way. You cannot pronounce it. Even a word will never start with a sukun. 
Sukun will come later on in the middle, not in the beginning because you cannot pronounce it. Remember, this is not a vowel sign. The beginning of the noun or word has to be either kasara, dhamma or fata, not a sukun. Now here we got two sukun and we cannot pronounce it, so we do little surgery. Okay? We do little surgery. We give this a fata. When you give this fata, if there are two letters in Arabic, one has the same letters, one has a sukun, and one has a vowel sign, then we turn into shadda. Remember? For example, if you say, if you say, Rabbun, okay, what is Rabbun, brother? It is hmm? remember? So here you have when you have a shadda means there are same letters, the first letter has sukun and the second letter has a vowel sign. Huh? Are you with me, brother? Okay. What is this? Tabba. Tabbat yada abhi. Okay. Fine, brother. Break it down. It is. Are you with me? Huh? See? So, first letter has a sukun, the second letter has a vowel sign. Okay, brother and sister. Similarly, this will change now into. Elai. Yeah, and it comes in the Quran all the time. Okay, brother? Inshallah, ready? We did that, Ilayya, we did. Let us do Allah again. Alayhi, Alayhima, Alayhim, Alayha, Alayhima, Alayhinna, Alayka, Alaykuma, Alaykum, Alayki, Alaykuma, Alaykunna, Alayya, huh? Alayya, and then Alayna, ma, mashal. And we want to do B also. B is very nice. Huh? Okay, this, this is a kasra now. Huh? Okay. No, let us say Bihu. You won't like it. Huh? When you say Bihu, which is the actual thing, who as a uh, noun, damir, which is now majroor because B has come. So, but be who? No, no, no. It's too odd. Uh, takes too much effort to say be who. And look at in the mirror, brother and sister, when you go home and try to say be who and look at your face. <laughs> it doesn't look nice. Huh? Be he is very sweet. Huh? And you can say with ease, inshallah. So this change into be he. How many words are there? Two, two words. Huh? Remember. Okay, ready? Bihi, bihima, bihim, biha, bihima, bihinna, bika, bikuma, bikum, biki, bikuma, bikunna, bi, bina. Huh? Tere bina kya jihenge? Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. B. How many letters are there? Two. Two. What is it? Harf jar. If I say harf jar, where is the majroor? What is this ya? Ya mutakallim. Ya of the first person. Mashallah. Now we come to our favorite. Li plus who? It is not li who. Huh? It becomes lahu. So when li harfjar, okay, gets a pronoun after it, li changes into la. It is still harfjar. Okay. Ready brothers and sisters? Lahu. Okay, brothers and sisters, we'll do lahu. Ready? Lahu, lahuma, lahum, laha, lahuma, lahunna, laka, lakuma, lakum, laki, lakuma, lakunna, li, lana. Are you with me? So when you have li, uh, brothers and sisters, how many words are there? Two. What are they? Jarun, 
ve mecrurun. What is it? Carun ve mecrurun. This is your harf car and this is your isim mecrur. The same way is with B. Huh? How many words? Two. Where is, what is this? Harf car. And what is this? Isim mecrur. Two words. Huh? Okay, you will always be careful about it. Now, brother, we come to uh, our zarf. Ready, brother and sisters? Zarf. And when you put uh, pronoun into zarf, what happens? It is zarf and mudafilehi. Are you with me? Zarf and mudafilehi. Are you? We will remember. We won't call mudaf mudafilehi. We will call it zarf and mudafilehi. Ready? So, brother, in the plus who, what will become? In the who, in the huma, in the hum, in the ha, in the huma, in the hunna, in the ka, in the kuma, in the kum, in the ki, in the kuma, in the kunna, in the indana. Mashallah. Now, brother, put harfjar. Min in the he. What will you say? Mil in the he. Why did you say he? Because before it, Kasra came. Ready? Min in the. Now in the became in the. Fine, brother. And I want to now put who there. So who will become he? Huh? Okay, who will become he? Just. Go home and stand in front of the mirror and try to say, Hindi who? See, it's so difficult. Hindi who? But Hindi he? It's very sweet and easy to say. Ready? Men Hindi he? Men Hindi hima? Men Hindi him? Men Hindi ha? Men Hindi hima? Men Hindi hinna? Men Hindi ka? Min in the kuma, min in the kum, min in the ki, min in the kuma, min in the kunna, min in the, min in dina. Not in dana, in dina, because in the became majroor because of min. Got the idea, brother? Last one we do. What is our last one? Ma'a. Ready? Ma'ahu. Mahuma, Mahum, Maha, Mahuma, Mahuna, Maka, Makuma, Makum, Maki, Makuma, Makuna, Mai, Mana, Mai, Mana. Are you with me, brother? Got it? Inshallah? Okay. You know, we were doing mudaf mudafilehi. Okay? So, kitabu Muhammadin. Baitu Muhammadin. Kalamu Muhammadin. Now, if I say his house or house of his, his pain, how do I say? Brother, I say, Baitu hu. Kalamu hu. Are you with me? So what is happening now that when the Damir joins a noun, we get Mudaf Mudafilehi. Are you with me, brother? Same way, Min Muhammadin. Are you with me? Min Muhammadin. Okay? From Muhammad. But we can change Muhammad into pronoun. And what we say? Minhu. Are you with me? What is minhu? Jarun or majrur. And you can use 14 pronouns huh? in this way. Are you with me, brother? The same way we have enda. Enda al mudiri with the headmaster. But I can change al mudir into who. What will I say? Enda who. What is enda who? Zarf and Modafili. So here is the rule, brothers and sisters. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get 
mudaf mudaf ilayhi. And when the pronoun joins a preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. And when the pronoun joins zarf, what do we get? Zarf and mudaf ilayhi. So here is a little song, brothers and sisters. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. What did I say? When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, what do we get? We get zarf and mudafilehi. Did you get it? Yeah. Inshallah. One more time. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, we get zarf and mudafilehi. Inshallah, you remember. Huh? Now we come to our new lesson. Hmm? <coughs> Nothing difficult. Everything halwa puri. <laughs> Nothing difficult in this. You will love it. You will find it easy, inshallah. Okay. The new concept will come in lesson 16. I want everybody to be here in lesson 16. Huh? Because we are learning totally, totally new concept. Huh? Inshallah, we'll see. Okay, Adasu Thaniya Ashara. Inshallah. Ready, brother and sister? Kaifahaloki ya bintu. What's the translation? How are you? See, brother, haloki. When you ask somebody who's a sister, you will say kaifahaloki. When you ask a brother, kaifahaloka. Daughter, bintu, daughter. You know, it's a loving way of saying to a, a stranger. We say, Ahu, uh, uh, or Bint, you know, or Ukht, uh, oh my sister, okay. Brothers and sisters, so if you are asking a group of, in the class, if I come here, I can ask you, Kaifa halukum ya ikhwanu? Kaifa halukum ya ikhwanu? If I have only sisters class, then I will say, Kaifa halu kunna ya akhawatu. How are you, oh my sisters? Or oh sisters. Are you with me? So, Kaifa halu ki, because you are asking, I'm one. So, you see, ki tells you it is a uh, anti. It is anti. Ready? What is the answer? Ana bi khair. Walhamdulillah. Walhamdulillah. MashaAllah. 